Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Jen. And I'm Shane. And this is Humble Beginnings to Winning. So normally we, we highlight a lot of positive things, trying right. to look at, you know, finances, relationships through a, a lens that's very positive, elevating your circumstances, which is great, you know, but it's also very important that we touch on, you know, when your partner is having a season of tough times and yeah. how to be there for your partner during tough times. Yeah. Um, because not every day is going to be rainbows and sunshine. It's 100%. not going to be great every day. You know me, obviously, we've been married for a long time and this week wasn't a good week for me. Yeah. You know, I I got out of bed and, you know, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed and I just wasn't feeling myself per se. And it happens, you know, it's normal. People go through seasons or days or weeks where, you know, they're not feeling like themselves or they're experiencing tough times. And it's very important for the person that is experiencing these feelings to open up and share that with their partner so that you know they know how to be there for them i agree and i yeah. think the first step when you are going through a tough time or when anybody's going through a tough time mm -hmm. they need to express that to their partner yeah rather than hiding feelings or or hiding emotion mm -hmm. and then moping around or or not really sharing those emotions with your partner because then at that point your partner doesn't know Right. what's going on right. so if they see that you're moping around or that you have an attitude or that you're just kind of being snarky and things mm -hmm. like that or mm -hmm. any other type of emotion then they're probably going to maybe even have an attitude back or and, take it that it is like you doing something toward them and right. the partner not understanding why you're feeling that way so they're taking it as like a personal attack almost. Right. And I, and I mm -hmm. think, uh, like, like I said, the first thing that needs to be expressed when you are feeling down for any sort mm -hmm. of reason, or you're just having a bad day or a bad mm -hmm. week or something mm -hmm. is that that communication first and foremost has to be there. Yeah. And it's after, super important. And then after the communication has been expressed and we, mm -hmm. and both people are on the same page, like, okay, yeah, like, all right, we'll, we'll get through it. Then, the other partner needs to be there for them, needs to be supportive, exactly. needs, to, needs to listen, needs to be there for a uh, listening ear to say, hey, this is, the, this is what's going on right now, mm -hmm. whether it's a specific event or mm -hmm. you're just not feeling, you're just not feeling the day. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, so, you're, yeah, you're just not feeling the day. And I think, um, like you said, kind of going back a little bit when I was saying that, you know, this hasn't been my week. You know, I've been a little off this weekend, you know, not having... A good day or you know that can turn into another day or whatever but it's important for me to communicate that to you and so as soon as I realized like oh, okay all right this is just not gonna be my week like I knew it early on right I expressed that to you right away you know as soon as you got home from work I was just like hey babe I just want to let you know I'm not feeling my best right now and these are the reasons why um, you know, so it's not a attack or a personal, you know, personal dig toward you at all. Mm -hmm. It's just me feeling a certain way. And I, I understand that for some people, you may feel like, well, you don't want to be a burden toward your, to your partner, or there's a sense of like shame, but it shouldn't be, you it know, because be that's you, what your partner is there for. Right. Like your partner is there to be a listening ear. Your partner is there to empathize and support you. And I think that will help you get through whatever you're feeling, yeah. you know, just having that extra support. And it also allows humility to be in the relationship as Amen. well, because you're letting your barriers down and your guard down to say, and come to your partner, say like, Hey, babe, I'm not really feeling my best right now, or I'm not having a good day. And this is why. And then your partner can help you through it. So, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's important to really talk about that. If you're, if you're having a tough time, you know, expressing and communicating to your partner, how you're feeling out of anybody, if you're married, you should be able to have open dialogue with your husband sure. or your wife for sure. and mm -hmm. have that open dialogue mm -hmm. and just be completely honest and be completely yeah. upfront 
Yeah. So that you guys can work through any hardships that come, whether team, it's small yeah. or big, but definitely even in the small moments. Sometimes, yeah. you know, in relationships, it's easy to brush that stuff under the rug, mm-hmm. uh, brush, you know, just having a bad day or, or a bad week. Yeah. Because, you know, one day can lead into two and then three and then a month. And, and then, then it months. snowballs and, and become a, yeah. it grows and grows and it, it gets the, to be really big. Right. Yeah. But the, the quicker and the more vulnerable you are up front when it first happens and you're, mm-hmm. and you're really starting not to feel your best, mm-hmm. being up front at first is a lot easier than coming to somebody a month or two months later yeah. after it's already been visibly seen that you're not acting the same or you're not being the same way, yeah. but nothing was ever expressed. Mm-hmm. And that's when it gets even more difficult. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with any other problem, even if it's outside of a marriage or outside of a relationship. The longer that you let things get swept Mm -hmm. under the rug and the things just continue to fester, the harder it is to actually solve the problem. Yeah, because then it it, it gets to a point where there's so many little problems that you almost forget what the root of the issue is instead of just trying to address the initial problem first. So I think... First mm-hmm. and foremost, be upfront. Be yeah. upfront with yourself, first and foremost, but then be upfront with your partner. Of course. And, and then, oh, oh sorry. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, so be upfront with your partner, but also for the person that is supporting the other person that's going through it, you have to allow them to feel those emotions as mm-hmm. well. You know, ways to be supportive is to sit with them, is mm-hmm. to listen to your partner, but also let them feel what they're feeling. Like if they're having a moment where they just feel angry because they're not having a good day, of course they shouldn't project it yeah. toward their partner. Yeah. But if they're just sad, like sometimes you just got to feel sad. You just got to feel it and express those emotions. And that's actually a really good point because we actually talked about that yesterday. Mm-hmm. You know, we were just having a conversation mm-hmm. and we were off camera <laughs> we were having a <laughs> conversation off camera and about how sad emotions or negative emotions that we say are negative which is like anger or sadness mm-hmm. or anxiousness or just overall stress yeah you know all of these are emotions yeah. and just like the happy emotions mm-hmm. whether you're joyful excited and all that stuff that's important too but being able to express those negative emotions or those sad emotions mm-hmm. as well is just as important because we're human. We're, we're human, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we're going to have days and we're going to have moments where, you know, something happens or something doesn't go our way and mm-hmm. we're going to feel those negative emotions. And that's just how we operate. It's, that's, it's, it's a part of it's human a, nature. It's yeah. a part of human nature. And, and mm-hmm. I think that's really important for us going forward and, and for relationships overall because... You know, just like how relationships, there's good days and bad days. Mm -hmm. That's the same way it is in real life. In real life, yeah, of course. Not every single day of your life is going to be a good day. And you're just going to always be powering on to the next step. Yeah, I mean, you you know, you you just have moments where it's just simply not going to be like that. And you just have to feel these emotions. And that's the only way, not the only way, but it's one of the ways to help you get to those positive days where you're feeling like, okay, I'm not myself, but you allow yourself to feel it. But I got to go through this first. I got to, I got to go through what I'm feeling. And it's a process. It's a part of the, the human process. And that's, you know, just, and what do we say at the end of every video? Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. (laughs) It's definitely a journey, you know? And so I think it's important that when you are going through a a tough time or not having a good day or good days is really important to express that to your partner. Um, but also know that it happens in all relationships, you know, we're human. And it actually makes it stronger Mm -hmm. because the more that you can be able to weather the storm when storms do come Mm -hmm. and be able to get past the storm, Mm -hmm. then the more that you know that this is the right person for you because in any long lasting relationship, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, mm-hmm. hopefully 50, 60 years. Yes. Wait, how old will we be? Be like 90. Ooh. <laughs> no, we'll, no, we still, we'll yeah. still be kicking. Yeah, we'll okay, still be kicking. Sure. <laughs> um, but in any long lasting relationship, mm-hmm. just like life, ups and downs. There's going to be And being able to weather yeah. the storm when the storms come. Mm-hmm. 
is very important. Yep. So we just wanted to have a quick conversation just about some feelings and moments that you may experience throughout your relationship and knowing that it's not always going to be good. Sometimes you're going to have some bad days, but it's just important to communicate and express that to your partner so you can get through it together as a team. And then as a partner, understanding how to be there, Mm -hmm. you know, for your partner when they are going through moments of tough times or seasons of tough times. So um, if you enjoyed this content, definitely let us know. Feel free to drop a comment below. Um, But that's all we have for today. I hope you got some value from it. Um, With that said, my name is Jen. And I'm Shane. And this is Humble Beginnings to Winning. Enjoy the journey. Bye.